Hello everybody, it's Don Markham, the AS Lifter. I wanted to kind of talk today about, uh, you know, sleep deprivation again and mental fog. And uh, this is more for the people that don't know anything, really what, what people with ankylosing spondylitis or AS experience. Again, I have AS. Uh, I've had it for, uh, formally diagnosed in 2014. I've been dealing with symptoms most of my life. Um, really didn't know what it was until it kind of smacked me in the face one day. Kind of like this little scratch right here, but. It's a whole other story, but uh, needs to say, uh, last night was a pretty rough night. I think I tried to go to bed around 10:30 at night uh, with the intent to wake up at four in the morning to try to train. Uh, I kind of went up and down like I do every night multiple times, uh, and it's, I just have nights. I guess they just eventually catch up to me. Every night's never a full like a solid night of sleep but every now and then it catches up to me and it just really like punches you in the face with you know just the, this the mental fog and the lack of sleep uh but i didn't get no sleep last night uh probably up and down probably six seven times i'm guessing uh waking up in the middle of the sleep for a minute or two or three or four sometimes 30 minutes then go back to sleep it's just, it's pretty ongoing, uh, something I deal with, and I know other people as well, with uh, ankylosing spondylitis, also known as AS, or other people with just chronic disease or auto diseases in general. They all kind of face this, because uh, I, hear, I hear a real common theme line. And I don't know if it's the, it, well, it is because of discomfort. When I, my, most of my discomfort, I don't really have the heavy pain that some, every, every, like I used to have, or some people still have experience I've kind of have this discomfort uh, it's kind of hard to describe or explain it's a pain but it's a pain that I don't know if I can it's almost like dulled or it's like in my mind it's not that bad or or I can just deal with it or just got used to it uh, but the pain sets in usually when I go to sleep or when I lay or when I become immobile uh, that's kind of why I train as much as I do just try to stay mobile and stay loose uh, just to keep my body in motion but uh, I'm at the end of the day, like I said, I got very little sleep last night. I'm pretty tired. Uh, driving to work this morning is pretty rough. Uh, all day at work, I almost nodded off two or three times at my desk. Uh, one time I caught myself. Uh, it's not good when you're when you have an employer. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. Hey, I got sleep, but I didn't get sleep. Uh, and it's not from partying, not from going out, you know, all nighters and everything else like some of everybody else experiences, but, uh, or the young generation, I should say, uh, younger, but, uh, I just want to kind of shoot this video and kind of, you know, while it's fresh in my mind and just kind of, uh, you know, touch upon something we deal with. And I try to take sleeping pills or I don't really take, I don't want to say prescription sleeping pills because... You can't take them very long. They get addictive. There's other side effects and everything else. So I try to stay at least as natural as I can. And I found in the supplement lines, or basically like fitness supplements, they have sleep aids for uh, people who do bodybuilding and, and, and athletic, athletic athletes in general because uh, sleep is where they recover. So I do take the sleeping aids. Uh, I happened to take one last night. Just really didn't help with everything else going on. So, but. <sighs> It's hard to put into words how tired you can be at times, but hopefully maybe there's somewhat of an experience or maybe you can see it or uh, maybe hearing my voice. Uh, my enthusiasm is not as much or not as great uh, today. Like I said, it's a rough day. I planned on training again later uh, this, this evening, but I just, honestly, that's not happening. This is not happening today. Uh, I'm going to have to postpone that one to, to another day, uh, which kind of sucks because I was pretty psyched up and kind of, ready to go but at least in my mind uh but body wise i'm just i can't do it uh so with that i want to just kind of put a little into it uh for people out there that see people that are tired always that can't get sleep or whatever please don't be so quick to judge uh some of us you know it's days we just can't help it um uh, trust me you think it sucks being around us it sucks for us because there ain't nothing we can do about it. It's just one of those things we deal with. But sleep deprivation, it's real. It, uh, it's part of the disease. And uh, I, it's, 
just one of the bad days but I figured it'd be a great day to shoot another video and kind of uh, explain some of what we go through uh, again I'm Don Markham the AS lifter not lifting much today <laughs> uh, click that subscribe button uh, if you want to uh, keep following me on YouTube keep hearing these messages maybe hopefully some of these messages get out to other people or you actually get out and create your own messages and spread you know uh, your own experiences with this disease uh, I promote that constantly you know awareness 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 uh, again, you can find me on Facebook under Don, a uh, fitness journey with ankylosing spondylitis. And I'm on Instagram under, te under Texas Markham. Again, hopefully I can get some sleep tonight. Thank you everybody for following. Good night uh, or good afternoon and uh, farewell.